when I usually roost a turkey, uh, scouting is a huge thing. You always want to put your homework in before you even try to chase a turkey, especially on public land. We always try to get, every circumstance is a little different. Earlier in the season, I'm 150 to 200 yards for that bird in the mornings. When it gets a little later in the season, you get a lot more foliage where you can sneak up on them. I like to be 100 yards or less from the bird. Um, they've got a lot more hens. During later in the season, early morning, they've got a ton of hens, but during the middle of the day, they're gonna go spread off. But all depends on your foliage, how much you've got going on. Turkeys can see still really good in a tree, even at dark. So if I get a goblin turkey, I ease in. Like I said, if it's the very first of the season with no cover at all, 150, 200 yards is as close as I want to get. That way I know he's not spooking and I can get a good setup on him. Um, if you're going to do that in the nighttime, even in the nighttime, I'll try to slide in before they go to roost to figure out what tree they're going to be in. I'll slide in just to scout. Slide in the woods, literally watch them fly up. But uh, I've seen it several times. The turkey's going to pitch around and he's going to be within 50 or 60 yards usually. So there are chips and tricks that I've always done when I try to set up on a turkey the next morning or even scouting in the afternoon. So good luck to you and I hope this helps.